Hello, I'm Shumana with the food blog tasteofbeirut.com. Today I'm making you a dish, you could prepare it ahead of time. It's just super practical and yummy. It's called kebbe sajiyye. The main thing we need for kebbe are two. One of them is burghol, burghol or bulgur, which is basically cracked wheat. And that's what it is. The second item is meat. Along with the bulgur, the meat, and we're going to add spices. So with the spices, I found an amazing product that just came out. It's the Noor Halal Certified Seasoning for beef and chicken seasoning for chicken. To make the cabessage, I have two separate things I need prepared. The first thing I need to prepare is the dough. First is we need to soak that bulgur. While it's soaking, I'm gonna get ready with the stuffing. And the stuffing, I'm gonna first start caramelizing the onions. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tenderize the burgol even further in the food processor. At this point, I'm adding my meat. I'm adding the Noor Halal seasoning into the dough and I'm adding a little bit of chili sauce. Completely optional. Okay, it looks like my onions are close to being done. Then I'll add the meat and then I'm going to be adding some additional ingredients nor beef flavored seasoning. The other one is going to be pomegranate molasses. I'm going to add some chipotle sauce. And then I will add some nuts. Now I'll add a little bit of my chili. Almost done. The dough is ready, I just have to cool it in the fridge for it to firm up and be ready to shape. Okay, so now I've got my dough ready and I have my filling ready. So I'm gonna start with the first kebbe. You could just use your, your hand. You take a plastic and you put it on a plate like this. Then you take another plastic that you put it here and then you just press on it. So that gives you the first layer, which is the bottom layer. So I'm gonna put the, um, a little bit of the filling on top. So now I've got the top portion and there it is handmade, so it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. I'm happy I had a chance to cook with you today and I want to tell you something. If you are interested in more delicious halal recipes, I advise you to follow at cookwithnor underscore halal. Enjoy!